kill you. <laughs> Miss Gloria wasn't happy about her surprise birthday serenade. Happy birthday, Miss Gloria. Tomatoes, pickled onions to add something fresh and refreshing to your main course. Enjoy. Thank you. What kind of meat is in this? Is this tomato party? <laughs> did he say? He did say, but it went over my head. This look like shrimp here. Yeah. So the food at Gold's restaurant was good overall. Um, the first dish that we had was a salad that had ostrich in it. Um, to me, the ostrich was a little undercooked, so I didn't care for that as much. But my favorite dish that we had there was the Moroccan almond uh, chicken almond pie. That was excellent. It had a puff pastry that was real flaky and delicious. The dessert was the best dessert that I had the whole time in Africa. They had a cardamom a cinnamon spice ice cream with the African shaped shortbread cookie. It was delicious. We try it one by one, we start here. One, two, three, we go. You got shoes, you got pocket books. Oh, I'm just tired. The lion sleeps tonight. Hey, Bobby, no, we don't. You scared? Yeah. Uh, I'm, like, I'm like, why is she looking that way? Look at me, mommy. I am the bait. I'm outsiding. 
You ain't that far outside. <laughs> <laughs> He sleeps. And he know that we looking at him, huh? He knows. But he's like, you don't bother me, I ain't gonna bother you. Yes, if we don't bother him, you won't bother us. Because he ain't really sleep. Yes. If I was to jump off there and go up there, he would be alert. Come on if you wanna. He said, you sound crazy. Well, you crazy. You didn't look at the star. That was the first, no, I did. Oh. But I'm, say, I'm looking for shrimp. Been looking for the word shrimp. shrimp. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's the yeah. pond. See, the I don't know what this yeah. African food is. <laughs> I don't. I ain't never had it. Had it before. Like when they say chips, I thought they meant you know it's potato fried. chips. It's the fries. What's your room number? Try to remember who had us. Okay. Ask her. Look at that little thing right there. Now, what is this? This is green beans. What is this? A potato. This is a potato. This is potato? Yes. This is creamy caramelized cauliflower soup with bacon bits and croutons. I didn't know that. Okay. I only got that. The Zulu, they've got their own way of greeting and it's a handshake. With your right hand, it goes like this. Saubona, unjani, giyapila. That simply means, hello, how are you? I'm fine. Do you want to try? Yes. Unjani, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do it wrong? Saubona, unjani, giyapila. Yeah. yeah. All right, now to thank our chief, can you thank him by saying Sia Bonga Nkosi? Sia Bonga Nkosi. Thank you too. Was there any meat in the spinach? That's why I didn't get it. I didn't know if they put meat in it. I don't think so. Just, just no meat. like onions. No meat? No meat. Just veggies. Top of your mouth. The top. 
No. <laughs> you always train from children, down, from babies, children. I feel like this. if I master yes, that more, I'll be the really kid, happy. You usually hear the elders when they talk, so then it gets easier for you. Oh, because that's their language, right? But the click, the, the causes, they are the clicking trap, and they usually use the cue it. Yeah. That's why I say the Zulus, they usually use the C. C is... Yeah, like I'm asking Ella uh, Can you can please help me? Mm. It's in Zulu. <laughs> okay, one more time. Do the sentence that you just said before with the clicking and tell me what does it mean. All right. Dan di ne kagu vem kolon diagu kri hutri hawan buzu bali kale nini dati li kale ngum kribelo kriti leyo. I said I had a pimple on my back. And I went to the doctor. The doctor asked me, when did it start? That's when I said it started on the previous Saturday. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so this is the crocodile. It's fried crocodile. And it's so good. It tastes like chicken. Literally, it tastes like chicken. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we we eat it with everything. Tomato, meat, mm. we eat it with milk, mix it up with milk, you know, make it crumb. <laughs> You said you mix it with milk? So we, we do grits and then we make it crumble, crumpy. Like it's gonna be like, it's gonna be small balls and then mm. we put milk and then we put some sour cream actually. Mm. And make it more nice and then we eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> try some of that. Yeah, yeah. It's a norm to us, you know. This cake is good. But people don't do it now, actually. They don't do it so much anymore. But some other households. Is it like a do. kid thing? Yeah, yeah I mean, when we like kids do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not, not sure what this is, but it is a dessert. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Now this would be good with ice cream. That would be good. Yeah. What does it taste like? It's not a brownie. It's cakey. Yeah, more like a cake. And what kind of flavor does it have? It's just sweet. It's not, you would think it would taste like fudge or chocolate or something like that, but it's not. I'm trying to think. Almost has a carrot cake kind of, kind of a... Spice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you said you didn't like cake. So what desserts do you like here? What are you used to eating? I'm used to eating the fruits. The food and then some plain yogurt. Yogurt, yeah, okay. Plain yogurt and then I'm good with that. Yeah, usually. That's my usual one. Is this like a mousse? I picked it up. But oh yeah. It looks like, like a mousse. Yeah. Let's see. It's like a chocolate. It looks light. Yeah. That's what it is. Mousse. It's kind of on the sweet side, considering a lot of stuff that we ate, cakes and stuff like that, was sweet. sweet. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know what this is called, but it's nice and moist, kind of creamy. It tastes like an Oreo cookie. It's really good. It's creamy. It tastes like an Oreo. Like an Oreo. I'm gonna need you to try some of the um, the mousse. Yeah. So this is like a chocolate mousse. By far, I think that's been the sweetest thing I've had since we've been in Africa, and you're right, Asia, it's very similar to cake frosting. It's good though. Overall, the trip to Africa, South Africa, was amazing. Um, I would definitely do it again. Thinking about all of the places that we went to, the Palace of the Lost City, Cape Town, um, Kapama, and then at last Johannesburg. 
Um, if I had to do it all over again, I think I would spend a lot more time at the Kapama Safari Reserve. Just their interaction with, or being up close and personal with the animals and seeing the different animals was wonderful. And I would have to say the accommodations there and the food was the best that we had the whole time we were in South Africa. It was overall just a wonderful once in a lifetime trip. There we go. Let's read them once more and say Molweni Ekaya. Molweni Ekaya. All right. <laughs> now you may wonder why you are seated like this. Ladies, you are seated on the right hand side because the men of this village, they believe that ladies are always right. Hmm. That we always right? Yes. This is my village. This is your village, my <laughs> <laughs>